Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is me, Lori. For the first time, I made cheesy and ube ensimada. I was happy with the result and I want to share it with you. So prepare your tools, ingredients, and let's bake! So let's start with 2 and 1 fourth cups of all-purpose flour. I sifted my flour because I think that it was not that smooth. However, you don't have to do this step. It's totally unnecessary. You can just simply add it in your bowl and then add two teaspoons of active dry yeast followed by one fourth cup of sugar and then salt. And then add half cup of liquid. I use water and milk, but you can only use milk. It's absolutely fine. And then mix it all together. Then after that, you can add your eggs. I added two small eggs in this recipe, but if you have a big one, you can use it as well. One is enough. And then just mix it all together. Then after that, you can add the water roux. I forgot to tell you that I made the water roux in the very beginning. So that is half cup of water with one fourth flour. Cook it and cool it down and then after that mix it with your butter and then you can start putting flour on your work surface and transfer your mixture so you can start kneading just add a little bit of flour once in a while because it's going to be very sticky then gradually add your softened butter it's 150 grams Add it slowly and keep kneading your flour mixture and then try to knead it as much as you can for a few minutes. For my case, I'm sweating a lot so I stopped kneading it and I just put it in my stand mixer. And then after that, melt some butter or use some oil in greasing your pans, cake molders, or muffin trays. And then after your dough rested for an hour, you can start removing some air pockets from it, knead it a little bit, and then you can transfer it to your work surface and you can start divide it and make some bowls. All in all, I was able to make 16 pieces of ensimada with this recipe. Just make sure you divide them evenly. And then you can start filling some of them with ube or purple yam. I made this one the other day. Fill it in your dough. And then put it inside your molder. So you can also add cheese, obviously, which is cheddar cheese or emmentaler. I use emmentaler because that's the one I have. Fill it inside. And again, place it in your molder. Then after you finish all your dough mixture, make sure you let it rest for 30 to 45 minutes before baking it. And with the leftover melted butter that I have, I will make some egg wash. And that's egg, a little bit of milk, and a little bit of salt. Now for the top of your ensimada, there is buttercream. So that's butter, milk, and icing sugar. Now for this one, um, you can do it on your own. Depends on how sweet you want it to be. But something is wrong with my mixture. I don't know if it's the butter or the milk, but it didn't form right away. So 
I added cream cheese. Good thing I have a softened cream cheese, so it saved my buttercream. And now they are smooth, and it's ready for our encimada. So once the last stage of the resting is finished, you can put your egg wash on top of your mixture or your dough. And then make sure your oven are ready and preheated for 180 degrees Celsius. And once it's ready, don't rush everything. Just put your enzimata there, bake it for around 15 to 20 minutes. Just make sure that it doesn't burn too much on top. And if it does burn, it's okay, because you're gonna put some buttercream in a way. Now, when your enzimata have cooled down for about 10 minutes, you can start putting the buttercream on top. Just place it nicely, and then put your cheese, and voila, you have enzimata. Sorry guys, mine was a little bit messy, I know. I was just too excited, so my OCD didn't kick in right now, so it's okay. And don't forget the ube encimada as well. Put some purple yam on top and cheese, and there you have it, ready to be devoured. And of course, because I couldn't help myself, I ate the very first one. Anyways, guys, I hope you do it at home. It's very easy. Thank you for watching. Hope you like and subscribe and happy eating.